This is an overview of the image card content box by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, I'm going to search in my widgets pane for image card content box. I found the widget and I'm going to drag it inside of my empty section column inside of my Elementor website. Right now it's really wide and usually when you're going to have content boxes, you're going to want to have a couple of them side by side. So I'm just going to duplicate this column to make a layout with three different widgets side by side. Click on the widget to start editing it and I'm going to take you over all the different settings that we set up for you. So the first setting is for image. You can change the image to any image you want. This widget knows to adapt automatically. You don't need to crop your images or do anything like that. Once you select an image, it will just load it and adjust it automatically. Over here we have title, content, button text, and the link for the button. So that's pretty straightforward. You can change this to anything you want. And of course we have an option to change the alignment if you want to align it to the left. Over here in the style tab, I'm going to take you over the settings. So the first one is for the border. This is the small border over here. It's just for decoration purposes and you can change that to whatever color you want depending on, on your website color scheme. So I'll change it for purple and we can change this width just to play around with that and its height of course as well. If you don't want it at all, you can just change this to zero and then you won't see it. But I actually like it so I'm going to leave it on. Over here in the general tab we can change the background color so you can play around with the background color of your widget. Next one is for the show box shadow. You can see there's a subtle box shadow around each widget. You can turn that off if you don't want it. I'm going to leave it on. Minimum height. So this is an interesting setting. I'm just going to change in one of these boxes. I'm going to add some text so it will be even higher than it is. And now you can see the boxes aren't the same height. So if you want to make them the same height, you just click on one of them. And inside of the general settings, you can adjust the minimum height and uh, make it the same height as the other box. So that's why we made this minimum height setting. It's just the minimum height of the box. Padding is for the padding around the content and around the image. So you can change this as well. And you can see it's adding padding and spacing everything up. Title spacing, content spacing, button spacing is the space above each element. So above the title, above the content and above the button. Look how cool that is. Next one is for the button settings. So we can turn off the button overall if we want. So let's check out how it looks when you turn it off. You can see right now we don't have any button. I'm going to turn it on. You can change the button radius. So for example, right now I don't want it rounded at all. So I change the button radius to zero. And the button padding, for example, if you want to make your button wider, you can add some padding on the sides and it will make it wider. If you want to make it thicker, you can add on top and bottom. All the colors that you're going to need to uh, adjust your button, I'm not going to change any of these because they're pretty straightforward. Button width is for the width around the button and you can change the style as well to whatever you want. So let's turn that back to one and let's hop into the image section. Over here, we can change the height of the image. So if you want it higher, you want it not so high and you can also add border radius to your image. Looking good. And the last settings are related to typography. I'm just going to show one of these. So let's open up the title, enable the typography styles. And over here, we're going to change the font family to something more prominent. So we can see the difference. Let's find something cool. Let's take this one. Perfect. And you can change the size of the font to whatever size you want. Looking good. 
And that's about it. So that was a quick overview of the image card content box by Unlimited Elements. If we want to take this style and copy it to our other boxes, just right click, copy, and I'm going to select paste style. So right click on the image you want to copy the style to and click paste style. So that was how easy it is to copy the style between the different widgets. And the most important thing is that you can also edit the widget HTML. If you click edit widget HTML, it will open the widget creator framework. Over here, you can see the different uh, HTML parts or CSS parts. You can add your own attributes or attribute sections and do whatever you want. If you're familiar with some HTML and CSS, this is a super powerful tool to customize your own widgets. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.